Hello guys and welcome to an Ender.io tutorial about the new block they added which is called Inventory System Storage in Minecraft 1.10.2. With this block Ender.io has now item storage capabilities. Now we will start on by showing you the recipe on how to make this block. First we need to craft a remote awareness upgrade which the recipe is like this. Next you need to craft a machine ch a chases which is this. Next is chases plates. This is the recipe. The next we will uh, build the tiny inventory system storage which is the tier 1 which is the uh, recipe is like this. The, ne the next tier of uh, inventory system storage is basically this with the tiny inventory system storage it gives you small inventory system storage and it goes on until the uh, the later tier you basically it's the same recipe just put in the small medium huge and so on and you get the next one now i will show you how this inventory system storage works this is the block itself this is how it looks on all sides now we will try and co connect it with the uh, item conduit. As you can see it cannot connect and it won't connect because it needs power. This is how normally it works. It has a power uh, usage. You can see minus 10. It, it takes normally into the uh, internal power buffer which one uh, of these has an internal power buffer of 100,000 RF and uh, if it doesn't have any power or it runs out of power the item conduit won't uh, it will stop connecting to th this block if you put power back in the conduit or pipe will connect back on uh, for the power uses like I, like I told you it requires 10 RF per tick to charge up the internal power buffer afterwards normally it will only drain minus 1 RF per tick just to maintain the, this block active now another option for this block is that uh, you cannot add items to to this block by hand if you right click you cannot add any items inside the only way to add items inside the inventory system storage is by piping it or the new addition when you have a yet a range inside and uh, you and you cycle through this up to the range and gear and uh, right click on any side of this block basically see the mode pool shift right clicking normally it takes the whole block you put, you put it back on uh, right clicking again it's, it's, it will put the mode on push then, then push and pull disabled none this uh, opens a whole new area of options and just by putting the mode on pull and putting a chest with the items you want and it will start pulling it automatically without any pipes or pushing items that it has inside into the chest normally that you will put in you'll put next to it now i will give you an example of the pulling mode of the block it has normally when you put it with the right get a range And it will go inside. Same normally will go if you put it on push to start outputting what it has inside back on in the, in the chest. Now I will show you each tier of the inventory system storage, how much it holds and how many stacks you can put in. The first tier we, we, uh, we can have is the tiny inventory system storage which can hold 81 stacks or 81 stacks of any item that is stackable up to 64 
or 81 slots for a single item, which is like books, uh, tools, or uh, armor. As you can see, normally I've used the crystal chest, so you can actually see, so you can actually see the space uh, it took from one of this uh, type of chest. The next one we have the small inventory system storage, which is 108 stacks or 108 slots of space, which is like a whole entire crystal chest. The next one we have the medium inventory system storage. This one can hold up to 135 stacks or 135 slots of space, which is basically one crystal chest empty and about this thing, this is how much of the next one. The next will have big inventory system storage. It holds up to 162 stacks or 162 slots of space with one crystal chest and, and about this much of the next one. Next we'll have large inventory system storage. 189 stacks or 189 slots of space for single items. Which is this and this much of the next one. The next one will have huge inventory system storage, which is uh, normally 216 stacks or 216 slots for each single item you put in. It is with about two crystal chests empty it will take inside. Now the next one is enormous inventory system storage. It's 244 stacks or 244 slots of space, which is two empty crystal chests. It can hold up to this how much on the third one. Next one will have inventory system storage warehouse. It holds 270 stacks or 270 slots. It holds only two crystal chests empty and about this much on the third one. The last and the biggest one is the inventory system storage extended warehouse. It holds 540 stacks or 540 slots for uh, uh, single items. It takes in about one, two, three, four, and five crystal chests empty of items it holds. So five of these will go empty. If they are full, it will go inside this. As you can see, each of the tier, even if it's the inventory system storage extended warehouse or uh, storage warehouse or enormous system storage, all of them have 100,000 power buffer inside and all of them will require minus one RF per tick to function. Doesn't matter. As you can see. Now you're asking yourself how do I access the storage that it has, the items that it has inside without me extracting with an item pipe or uh, conduit into another chest so I can get it out. And I.O. has a function normally that's with inventory panels connected to the item conduit normally that has the remote awareness upgrade inside and you can access the inventory that it's inside. I will make an example this with this we'll see like uh, we'll go up to let's say this one we connect it. We have no valid one. Ah, we need to get where you at this one. And we go this. We go to this one. We put the remote awareness upgrade. Then we put the inventory. Come on. We put the inventory panel. We give it some nutrient distillation because it needs it to function. Then, as you can see, we can access wh whatever is inside. And normally you can use it normally 
with a remote. This is normally how you can access through NRIO means the inventory that is inside the system storage. It might be possible with other mods if you have. I've tested it out with the RF Tools storage scanner, but with RF Tools storage scanner, it will actually detect the inventory system storage, but it won't detect what it's what's inside. It will detect the crystal chests, and if and if the crystal chests have items inside, it will see the items in the crystal chests, but it won't see the items in the inventory system storage. That's with RF Tools. Maybe other mods will have the possibility to actually see what's inside this. But with NRIO, you'll have to make the inventory panel, a remote awareness upgrade for the uh, conduit, and you'll actually see what's in and you'll actually see what's inside the inventory system storage. This is the end of the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give a like and comment what you think about it.